Almost there, gang. Don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to start the audio. Hey, hello, dead chicken. Um, so this is a cozy survival game. Uh, there's, you won't die ever, but, you know, you find new resources to upgrade your stuff so you can find new resources to upgrade your stuff so you can find new resources and so on and so forth. Um, it's really lovely though. I like it a lot. Um, it's very, very chill. So that's, I mean, you know, if that's what you're into, then there you go. Alright, I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to listen along as well. I'm going to start, uh, that was a 94 caravan raid. Two hundred. Hello, Griffin. I'm gonna start a new campaign. Busy. It makes it like cool. Uh, it's free on Game Pass. This game. Greetings, adventurers. I am your dungeon master, Michael DeMauro, and my pronouns are he, him. Hi, my name is Nika, and my pronouns are she, her. I play Rourke. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Tim Lanning. My pronouns are he, him. And I play Chuck. Hey, everyone. I'm Jennifer Sheik. My pronouns are she, her, and I am playing Celine Von Esper. Hi, my name is Mike Bachman. My pronouns are he, him, and I play Screech Echo. Uh, Jennifer's not here because work. <sighs> Big bid. Lots of money on the line. So everyone's on the deck. And we went to go see the old eclipse yesterday, and it took us five hours to get home when it should have taken like two-ish. That's no good. All this driving just to see a Mitsubishi? <laughs> Fuck. <man. laughs> That's a little joke. That was good because there's a car call that was eclipse. There is! I like that joke. I like that. Shut up. I like that joke. Um, speaking of work, um, I will. I hopefully will have my uh, pre-streams back hey! next week. It's been very difficult times at work for me as well. A lot of stuff going on. Wow. Not difficult. It's been so fun and challenging in a really rewarding way. But I've been working a lot of hours. Oh, so you're, you feel really fulfilled by your real life job and yeah, like interesting tasks and all that stuff. That's nice. Mm. I don't need a stream. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Uh -huh. <laughs> Man, the energy tonight is... We're so good. So good. Who knows? We might just snap into it. We might. Yeah. Uh, sometimes people say second episode energy as a joke. This is like fifth episode. Energy. <laughs> but, you know, speaking of, of not work, speaking of non-profit work... Mm. In fact, hey, we got a charity stream coming up. <laughs> nice one, brother. So soon. Oh my God. So soon. Mm -hmm. In April, I think. I like you that. think? This month. This month. <laughs> April 27th, starting at 4 p.m. until April 28th at 4 p.m. That's right. Uh, several different fo fine folks will be guesting and playing various games and things like that. For your enjoyment, all to raise money for the Trevor Project. Uh, this is our tenth year, so it's special for us as well. Really, you know, it's a, a it's a beacon of our year as well. Every single year, because it's so much fun for us, and it's a great way for the community to come together and to do some good, as opposed to all the terrible shit we do. 
pretty bad normally. Yeah, a lot of we, yeah, we give a lot of prizes out for the we just even watching. So uh, I know, won, as actually. always, as it's always been, it's a tough. Whole new group of things so if you're not nowhere. able to donate, then spread the word, right? Uh, uh, hype up the stream, be in the chat, talk, give your energy to the performers. Uh, that's always super helpful. And heck, you might even get a prize for being there. Yeah, indeed. We haven't posted the schedule yet, uh, but I'm sure John's got it well under control. Mm -hmm. And I know that we're going to be uh, doing an episode of this lovely podcast. Yes. As we've been having a lot of fun the past several years, David will yet again Ooh, be one. in the driver's seat. And I'm told... A uh, little spoiler, a little, little hot teaser for y'all, all, all you little freaks out there. It's going to be very, like, apocalypse wasteland vibe. So, mm -hmm. a little bit of Mad Max, a little bit of Dune. Just think, sand in danger, baby. It's going to be dusty as fuck. Yeah. You, you, we're going to have so much sand in our underpants. Remember that? Oh, That's a shit. callback, baby girl. <laughs> yeah, the whole time. Yeah, the whole time. That's no, all I'm saying. Yeah, say it. It gets everywhere. I can't wait. Um, so tune in. There's so many things happening right now. I'm going to play Magic the Gathering at like 1 or 3 a.m. or some shit like that. That's insane. So I'll definitely need energy for there. But me and my freak friends like playing Magic the Gathering so much that <laughs> it might not even feel bad. Previously on Greetings Adventurers. You got back to the circus, and, and the caravan now. gang, it's its pulling out of town. I'm so sorry, guys. I just, like, really had this good idea about making a uh, diorama of Mineford. Wait, that's what you've been doing? Yeah. I'm the stable master, though. He was having some issues with your griffin? Uh-huh. Um, he said he won't eat the griffin food. He has celiac. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Draven's a bit of a taskmaster, yeah, so... Yeah, trying to make me eat griffin food is so gross. Griffins need ferrets. 99 so out of 100 right. right. If you want to take care of your own griffin, so that's fine. Really Oi, Chuck! Oh, that's me. What's up? What's your orders for us? Uh, what do you normally do in route? We juggle. We like to fight with the... Clowns! I think you and the clowns need to incorporate your acts. That's my damn opinion. Tonight when we make camp, I want to have a ooh, meeting ooh, between ooh. the jugglers and the clowns. You're a juggler? No, 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 no. I'm talking about you. I can never. Uh, I, I don't have that skill. There are three balls coming right at you. Uh -huh. You juggle them back. Wow. Whoa. Oi! Uh um, okay, you're not gonna believe this, but What's I'm, your name then? I've never done I've never done this before. Wow, Celine. Uh, you got a juggler name? How about the Velvet Vortex? I go up to the first clown I see and I give their nose a little honk. Honk honk honk. <laughs> Are we married? <laughs> no, but if you really want to get married, I do have a possible um avenue for that for you. Tell me more. A giggles of a flap doodle. <laughs> That's my name, of course. <laughs> Woo. I just fell over. Have you heard about those those fucking jugglers? Oh, I want to kill those motherfuckers. <laughs> me too. I know where they sleep. You know what I mean? Well, how about we meet tonight? I don't know, 12:30 in the morning. We are a Nothing juggler family. Me. So we'll just make a hate boy. Okay. Some sort of insane predator is flying at you. They're flying with the sun behind them. What's it doing? So what's what everyone up to? Perception on the gangs. Uh, Michael, I think uh, it's due terrifying. to the eclipse... I'm actually really scared right now. I'm worried that Mark R isn't a geekly and is in fact <laughs> a soccer person. I got a 21. Fuck. Whoa, He's like, what is happening I got a natural right now? 20. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Oh, so I think Christ. Christ. We're seeing it as hell. Well, you guys can't see anything because of your shitty rolls. Excuse me? Michael! Shut up, you idiot. We rolled great. <laughs> Idiot. You had to roll a 40. Let us see everything. Then don't, if we had to roll a 40, don't make us roll. You don't know what my perception is. Yeah, my, he has a plus 30. I want to see you fail. Michael, let us see the thing. It's the only thing that 
Let's me wake up in the morning. Plus 21 Let's perception. Michael, you bet. Yeah, he has a plus 21 perception. God damn it. I stack every buff. I mean, it's plus four, but... You're all squinting up into the sun without protective lenses. Uh-huh. And you realize that uh, not only is this creature uh, flying down at you, but it is being ridden by uh, 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 what looks to be a goblinoid of some kind. Okay. Is he hot? Yeah. Well, he's got a bow, and he's <laughs> aiming it. Is he he's alone? He seems to be riding this creature alone. So he's oh. riding the creature alone. Is he just going to start shooting Can't the care of it? Mind. Apparently. That's rude. What's that guy doing? How, how far out is he? Um, he's probably like 120 feet above you. So what is he writing now that we see him? Uh, you could probably roll nature and tell me if you've seen this beast before. <laughs> Can I only roll 13s? What the fuck? I'll take it. Uh, yeah, 13. I don't have nature. I rolled a nat one. Ooh. I also do not have nature, so it's just a one. <laughs> I rolled a 13 plus two. 15. Look at you go, brother. Damn. I guess seeing the uh, danger, I'm, I'll give uh, uh, Screech a go. Uh, guidance. Roll, ah. Throw a, a D4 no. in there. Hmm. Hmm. That's another two. Oops. There we go, gamer. You think that uh, this Damn. goblin is riding a wyvern. A wyvern? Damn. A wyvern or a wyvern. Tired of ads intruding into your favorite comedy podcast? Oh, Good news. Ad-free Tired. listening is available on Amazon Music for all the music plus top podcasts included with your Prime membership. Dive into a world of laughs by downloading Chris, the Amazon slime. Music app for free or go to amazon.com slash comedy ad free. That's amazon.com slash comedy ad free to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Hey there, it's Michelle Norris. I'm host of a podcast called Your Mama's Kitchen. When I travel, I'm usually looking for a way to find a taste of home when I'm not at home. And one of the things I love to do when I am at home is entertain. And Airbnb allows me to do that. When I was in California recently, I rented a house that had a great kitchen. And when we were sitting around the table, we were all thinking, we're in someone else's house. Someone could be in all of our homes as well. If you have a home, but you're not always at home, you have an Airbnb. Your home might be worth more than you think. Find out how much at airbnb.com slash host. Ooh, I'm Sandra, hey. and I'm just the professional That's your small exciting. business was looking for. But you didn't hire me because you didn't use LinkedIn Jobs. LinkedIn has professionals you can't find anywhere else, including those who aren't actively looking for a new job, but might be open to the perfect oh, role, like me. In a given month, over 70% of LinkedIn users don't visit other leading job sites. So if you're not looking on LinkedIn, you'll miss out on great candidates like Sandra. Start hiring professionals like a professional. Post your free job on linkedin.com slash spoken today. Hey, Dave. Yeah, Randy. Since we founded Bombas, we've always wow. said our socks, underwear, and T-shirts are super soft. Any new ideas? Yes. Uh, okay. Thank God, Mark. More disgustingly cozy. Wait, what? I got it. Bombas. Absurdly comfortable essentials for yourself and for those facing homelessness. Because one purchased equals one donated. Wow, did we just write an ad? Yes. Bombus. Big comfort for everyone. Uh, Go to bombus.com slash ACAS and those. use code ACAS for 20% off your first purchase. Good ass socks. Alright, I gotta build a tent. Tell me, get, drop some yeah. lore on us. Know, what? what? We know dragons are gone. Yes. What's the story with uh, uh, Draconic? adjacent beasties in, in that we that we would know about or what have you um so i mean you know this is obviously a you would know that, that these are not incredibly intelligent creatures and that they're not very magical so you know they are more of a beast and uh and therefore not uh, not involved in the whole dragon cleansing gotcha so maybe a few Whoops, accidental things, things, things but build. no one's going out of their way. <laughs> Wyverns are nothing. If people see them, they're coming after them, but, you know, yeah, they're not gonna, like, they're not gonna have a whole quest just to kill one. Mm. I wouldn't. More wood. Okay, uh, I would like to cast, activate, emboldening bond. Heck, Bye. how about for me? How about for 
Screech, and Ooh. how about for Roar? Me and Mike got this to hang out super recently. D4 for like everything that you roll. Sweet. Once per turn. For everything, once per turn. How long does it last? Forever. Uh, I believe it lasts 10 minutes. All right. So probably for the entirety of this battle. Battle? We're going to fight it? Why would we fight it? What, what, is, what is he trying to do? I want to sleep. Yeah. Why can't we be friends That's with it? I wish I had that. Uh, I was just going to say you should roll for initiative because he is going to shoot a bow at you. Oh. Okay. It just seems sort of... 11. All right. I don't think this guy's an attack, but hey, let's let's get ready. Just in case. Oh, fuck. Hell, there's so I many fun things we can build. Ooh. Dirty 20. I rolled a 20. I rolled a nat 20. Again. Again? Fuck, man. You can't be stopped. I love you. Wow. God damn. Energy down, but rolls are high. That's true. Now, Timothy, are you gonna um, control Celine as well? Uh, if you'd like me to, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Uh, she rolled bad. Uh, six. Thirty initiative. Jesus Christ. You have a ten to initiative. It's like he's making it up. Tits. Yeah, I mean, he's a rogue, so. and nine other things. Jesus, that's insane. Screech! Bad. All you the see this thing coming a mile away, buddy. Well, then I need to wait for a while because it's too far away. <laughs> Sorry, I was wrong. I was 120. Um, but he's like way up in the air, right? Like 120 feet. How how far can he jump? I'm well. I'm I don't even know how how far how long was that rope? 50 or something? 30? Yeah. 50 feet, I think. You've got ranged weapons, don't you? You've got hand crossbows. Yeah, but like. I don't know that that's what I want to do. I guess I will. I don't want to tell you your business. You can hide, a little coward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll play your games. Um, okay, well. He didn't know that he had hand crossbows. I knew what I had. <laughs> hand crossbows suck for this situation, though. He doesn't, he doesn't know. He doesn't fucking know. So, a 13 to hit? Add a d4. If you didn't. A 14 to hit. And you're shooting at. No, not the, another rogue upset. Uh, rider or the. The wyvern, because it's bigger and closer. It is closer. I can't argue. I would love to. I guess we didn't ask how he was riding him, right? He could be like leaning over his snoot. Don't give me that fucking look, Bachman. <laughs> yeah, how's, how's he riding him? Back arch? What are we talking about? <laughs> He's holding on to his tail. Sorry I'm trying to bring some energy to this podcast and talking during it. I didn't know that you could see me. <laughs> They're not all going to be winners, folks. <laughs> In fact, most of them shan't be. Uh, you hit. It's a hit? You score. Michael, that's 18 at least. Golly. That also will hit. Okay. I forget. Do I get to add the D4 to damage? You do not. Stupid. Spell sucks. It's dumb. I'm so sorry. It sucks. I'm sorry. Oh, double sixes. So that's 18. And then that's I got my storage, sneak attack. Storage. That's Life another six. Really and a two. Uh, so 26 damage. Nice job. Uh, to the wyvern. What the hell? Okay, fine. Yeah, and so I killed that thing. The goblin's going to take fall damage. Yeah. No, you didn't kill him. It's fine. What? I don't believe that, honestly. We're only level eight. I thought you guys were 18. <gasps> oh shit, balls. Oh, we're doing jokes. Oh, I fucked up again. Alright, is that your turn? I guess. A bell starts clanging, and you hear Barnabas Rumble Toes go, We're under attack! We're under attack! Everyone is so the positions! Roar. I would like to cast Bardic Inspiration twice. I don't have anything that'll reach. So since it is a bonus action, can I just use a regular action to cast it twice? I feel like we've done it before. Yes, we have done that before in our game. Though if you're playing D&D at home, you should make your own decision on yeah. <laughs> whether or not you're allowed two spells per turn. Yeah, well, that's, no, that's not why it's <laughs> it's not a spell, and uh, that's not why uh, it's against the rules. I think but, magic. And you're making it more fun that way. But if you want to play the right way and less fun... Go at it, kings. Uh, so Chuck and Screech can get an additional D8. For what? What do I use that for? For what? Um, ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Episode 94. Oh. We're just starting. You played a one. That's my turn. Okay. 
so this this um, goblin guy, um, him flying straight down. These guys are just friends. Um, you can he flies them. 80 feet. Hell yeah. He is now a mere 40 feet above you. Jesus Christ. Wow. And um, he's going to fire a bow oh. at more stuff. probably the people that have attacked him. So screech. <gasps> no! Okay. It's coming for you, buddy. Am I okay? Hold on. Easy, easy. I didn't know. Wait, the goblin's attacking me? Yeah. I didn't attack the goblin. You said the people that attacked him, Michael. Well, him and his son. His son? They're related? I didn't know that. That changes things. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Michael told us it was a damn beast that was dumb. Never shoot my son again. But you're right. Some sons are stupid beasts. That's my fault. How does a 12 do against your armor class? My armor class? Yes. <laughs> my Michael, that doesn't hit. <laughs> It always hits, but this time it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that's never happened before. That's great, buddy. Now, what about a Don't. 22? Don't do it. Don't. Can I please use my reaction <gasps> Yes. to cast Silvery Barbs upon said creature? Um, it starts coming for Screech, and I I get up there, and I do what you do whenever there's wild animals. I grab two large sticks, and I start banging them together. Mm -hmm. now I, can make I hiss at it, because why not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it has to do nothing. It just happens. Need oil. Distract the creature. Triggering creature. You have to re-roll the d20 and use the lower, um, and then... I get to choose a different creature I can see, and then the uh, that creature has advantage on the next uh, attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. So I would like to give it to Chuck. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to Chuck. All right, I'm gonna re-roll this, but it better be good. <laughs> I hope it's low. Michael's gonna damn cry. How about a 16 to hit your armor class? What, you're attacking me again? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 16 hits? Yeah, that hit. I tried. Appreciate that. It hits way less. <laughs> um, you're going to take 7 piercing damage. Suck on that. Oh, I don't even give a shit about that. Yeah, who gives a fuck, Michael? Why do you even tell me what the type of damage is? It never matters. Someday it's going to matter and I'm going to keep doing it. And I get, I get 100 emails a day that say thank you. Thank you for saying the damage type every time. A hundred a day. A hundred a day. I'm going to ask for receipts. Show but us. if he looks at his emails, then we're not going to be able to talk. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, Chuck. What? They what start wheeling in a huge nice cannon. Game. What do you mean? Oh, I thought you meant the goblin. I'm like, where? From where? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a number of clowns and jugglers and um, acrobats pushing this, this big cannon out it's got a big red star on the side of it it's very festive looking oh that's fun i don't have <laughs> any attacks prepared that would take advantage of the advantage um that's okay you know it, it is what it is we're gonna uh, uh, whatever uh michael mm -hmm. can you give me a wisdom saving throw as a big ass bail gongs next to uh we've only hit the wyvern correctly so uh next to the damn wyvern okay so wait what do i do wisdom some saving throw what is it wise behind the tears shoot some seeds wyvern. 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 <laughs> Ooh, seven who gives a fuck two damage no wait oh thank christ seven damage <laughs> shout out spells that use your modifier on top of whatever the fuck you roll uh i did toll the dead since it took damage 2d12 i rolled two ones oh my god that sucks yeah it sucks, I got a mailbox there, my it's, just, it's just shut up let's move on <laughs> not a big deal it's a really big deal and then i want to run towards where oh, all the beasts are michael i want to make sure that it doesn't get anywhere near the beasts okay like everyone get down get down jugglers start throwing shit in the air confuse it if you got meat throw it near that wyvern <laughs> confuse it why is this happening that's my turn um all right so people start to scatter i agree about. i think all i should right, say Celine. the damage type do the voice. I was just gonna say you have to do the voice, please. 
I don't even know what that would be. Across darkness. I was doing the, the Dune, the, the Dune voice. Yeah, I mean, when I play Selene against a bird, you know what you love it. I cast darkness. And I cast darkness on the goblin. So, squirts out 15 feet radius from the gobbo. We just need to fucking throw Screech up there. Because what, do you have like, you have like 10 feet of, of Can I feed you soon, buddy? vision or whatever the fuck it's called? Yes. All right. So, at, right now, you can't see anything, but you guys see a big old blob of magical darkness. And then, I guess, for her not gonna make it again, bonus so. action, I will do Such the push life. thing, Michael. Hmm. And since we're fighting a bird and I'm playing Selene, I want to push against the direction it's going, hoping that my good friend Physics works out yet again. So can you give me a strength? Is it check or safe? Straight like safe. Crap. Not a great roll. Mm -hmm. 13. Okay, yeah, you uh, you get five feet pushed back. The wyvern does uh, in the opposite direction of it. it, it. I don't think it would follow this guy. Fire I think it would be right here, bro. pissed. Mm. But, you know, Did I, I mean, can't too see soon? I guess I don't know how long Snack is, but, you know. Uh, that is Celine's oh. turn. She's gonna... Well, it's probably funnier if she goes hides underneath one of the fucking uh, carriages oh, or whatever. Cool. Her little feet and butt is sticking out. You know, whatever. There's like a puddle there and stuff. Oh, she's like, oh, heck, oh! <laughs> <laughs> A giant boulder whizzes past your head and smashes into one of the caravan cars, making it explode and fall over. Where the fuck did that come from? It came from one of the two hill giants that are emerging from the tree line. Michael, what the fuck? About 90 feet from you. Where did they come from? Where did they come from? The tree line 90 feet from us. <laughs> Where's the trees come from? I didn't see any trees. I, for some reason, thought we were in a desert place, which we're not at all. I made that part up. I think it's like, oh, we're in a, a caravan going across the prairie. No, we're not. That's not said I was thinking Oregon Trail also. Yeah, but a lot of the Oregon Trail is not in the desert. But when it is, it sucks. See, I was thinking plains area. Tall grasses. Yeah. That kind of deal. But we both agree. Zero trees. Zero trees. No, no trees. Yeah, yeah, that's what we agree on. <laughs> yeah, no trees. <laughs> Tired of ads intruding into your favorite comedy podcasts? Good news. Ad-free listening is available Jesus on voice. Amazon Music. For all the music plus top podcasts included with your Prime membership, dive into a world of laughs by downloading the Amazon oh, Music man. app for free or go to amazon.com slash comedy ad free. That's amazon.com slash comedy ad free to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Hey everyone, I'm Craig Robinson, co-host of the Ways to Win podcast, alongside my good friend John Calipari. I've been on the go recently. Phoenix, Kansas City, Chicago. If you're like me and have a home but aren't always at home, you have an Airbnb. Hosting your home or a spare room is a very practical side hustle. If you live in a big game town, you can Airbnb your place for fans to stay in. Your home might be worth more than you think. Guys, Find out how much at airbnb.com. What's happening? Hope you're enjoying the delicate and gentle And now let's enjoyment. take a quick adventure and break and hear a word like from one of our sponsors. Thank you, Magic Let's Spin, for sponsoring this episode. Growing up, Cyril was one Bro, of the best parts all of magic being spoon a kid. Except for me, I think. But as I got older, I wanted to, to watch out for all the sugar and empty carbs. Magic Spoon has the amazing flavors you love, but with high protein and less sugar. I couldn't decide which flavor to try out, so I went for the variety pack to get a little taste of everything, including cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. Each pack has zero grams of sugar. 13 to 14 grams of protein and 4 to 5 grams of net carbs and only 140 oh, calories per serving. With Magic Spoon Bang. being high protein, keto friendly, gluten grain and soy free, what's not to love? My favorite was the fruity and peanut butter. It really hits the spot when I need something that's crunchy and delicious and whenever I deserve a little treat. 
go to magicspoon.com slash greetings to grab a variety pack and try it today. Also, be sure to use our promo code greetings at checkout to save five dollars right. off your order. All right, all right, Magic all Spoon right. is so confident so in their product, fine. it's back with a hundred percent happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember to start your day off right with a delicious bowl of high-protein cereal at magicspoon.com slash greetings and use code greetings to get $5 off. Being a large and handsome hero means more than crushing your enemies while defending the common folk. It means having a frank discussion with yourself about erectile dysfunction. Yes, I'm not going to battle without that. my trusty sword of radiant mercy. So why would I try to treat my ED without the aid of hymns? I don't have time to leave the dungeon to schedule a doctor's appointment in order to treat my ED, and with hymns I don't have to. Through hymns you can access affordable sexual health treatments from the comfort of your camp. Or a couch. Dirty boy. The process is simple Same and all password. online. Might as well be magic. They provide access to doctor trusted ED treatments such as chewable hard mints, brand names like Viagra, or even generic alternatives that are up to 95% cheaper, saving you a lot of gold. Would I have vanquished the arch lich of scarlet miasma if I didn't take a potion of major healing? Of course not. Each battle requires its own solution, and that, of course, includes your sexual health. Join me and hundreds of thousands of trusted him subscribers and start your quest to vanquish your up. ED today. Please start your up. free online visit today at hymns.com slash greetings. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash greetings for your personalized ED treatment options. Hymns.com slash greetings. Hard mints are chewable compounded products which are not approved by or verified for safety or effectiveness by the FDA. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Okay, uh, so yeah, there's two hill giants emerging from the tree line. Yeah, big boy. You see a small figure clamber up the giant cannon that's been wheeled out and, and zip inside of it. Wait a second. Did you say cannon? Yeah. Have we had cannons yet this campaign? I don't think so. I don't think so. Michael doesn't allow cannons. Uh, a lot of things have been cannon. Stop! Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Batman. Michael they, I tried cannons. to do one, but they said it wasn't it believable um, for me to this be sex. taking him. Yes. Because I folks? just come across as. <gasps> yeah. Oh, so shit. What the sprocket? Where'd that come from? I need to have uh, so, artificer. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, a little guy runs into it and, and you know, jumps in the barrel it, uh, oh. and slides down inside the cannon. <sighs> oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> what did I expect? Dumb. <laughs> I love it. Uh, uh, screech. <laughs> so wait, am I? What was the plan? Well, right now there is um, there's a, a, a wire room flying at you. It's probably like forty feet away. But he's engulfed in darkness. And now it's engulfed in darkness. Sick. You assume that it will be upon you shortly because of gravity uh, or flying. Either way. And there are also two hill giants emerging from the tree line, uh, 90 feet away. Okay. And there's also been a, a caravan car knocked over. Little bits of flame start licking out of it, and you hear uh, terrified screams from inside. Oh no! Get out! <laughs> Not the lantern cart. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the surrounding area like that we're fighting in? I know there's a tree line. There's a sky. The tree line. There's a sky. I imagine there was a sky. I I, I didn't think that. Yeah. Same. Same. Um. So you're on a a, a it's like a road basically. It's, okay. it's not like it's a, it's a dirt road, uh, but it does have uh you know caravan or, or wagon wheel uh ruts um from because it, it's pretty well traveled. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, there's probably it, it probably goes up into a, a hilly zone on one side because you guys are coming out of the mountains, you know. Are there any like 
poles or free stranding trees that are like close by but on their own i don't know there's, you could probably say that there's some weird stuff that the trapeze artists keep their pole vertical the whole time um for fun mm -hmm. yeah but like it's got to be sturdy there's like a, there's definitely like random trees here and there okay because what i would like to do michael mm -hmm. is i would like to fire my grappling gun directly into the center of this uh, dark mass that's coming down on Waste. us yeah i'm not attempting to hook it i want to just straight up impale i want it to go like straight in mm -hmm. and then i would like to use my movement to kind of wrap the other end around the pole love this mm. in such a way in such a way whatever dice you need me to do michael it's i yeah i would say there's probably like a, a an old tree something like that you know that's dead but in such a way to angle the momentum of this thing towards the ogres coming out of the tree line yeah oh wow that's great oh wow now i thought the ogres were on the other side why i don't know it's just, it's, that's how my brain works. I mean, they're hill giants, but... Hill giants, thank you. I mean, either way, I could just run the opposite direction around the, around the pole. Um, yeah, let's, let's do it. So let's first, uh, let's first attempt to, you know, impale. Okay. Um, I still have this D8 and this D4, right? Yep. Or, or, or would you rather tie to stump first? It's up to you. I, well, no, because I have to fire it from the gun, and then, then I need the other end of the rope to tie. Right now, it's all wound up in the grappling gun. Got it, got it, got it. Of course. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Michael, say smarter thing. I can't. I literally can't. Damn. Uh, so you think just like ranged attack, or what do you want me to... Yeah. Yeah, ranged attack. <gasps> 19 plus 6? Woo! 25? I'm going to roll the d4 anyway, because I don't... Mm -hmm. I'm afraid. Might as well. 25, uh, 28. Damn, that's a good roll. Um, and you're you're shooting at the wyvern, right? Well, I mean, yeah. So is the is the darkness on the on the goblin or on the wyvern? It's on the goblin, but the goblin's on the wyvern, so. Right, but I would aim then slightly below center of the sphere, because you want to hit the 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 wyvern. I don't want to yank the goblin off. Right. I want to change the whole flight trajectory. Yeah, don't don't tug that goblin. Right. All right. Well, gee, you do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I would, uh, you know, try and try and gauge the amount of rope that I would need to wind, and I would just go around the around the tree with my movement. In Damn. my head, I think of this as like I I feel like there was a movie with a meteor, and they like did some slingshot thing, or like they were in a spaceship and they had to like slingshot around the planet, and like the visual I'm getting is that the the, the wyvern like slingshots around. I can see that. And gets the. Yeah. Anything with a spaceship is gonna probably have a slingshot. Shout out science. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so that happens. Uh, so now I need you to roll like uh, some sort of sleight of hand or something to get this knot tied. Oh, my sleight of hand is plus six. My God, I gotta use it. <laughs> That's seven, but I'm gonna roll that D8 that I was hanging out with. Yes. Can I still use the D4 on this? Yep. All right. Wait, no, you cannot. You already used it once this round. Yes, yes. Only once per turn. Unless this one's higher, then take it off your other one and use That's it on true. this one. That's true. You didn't need it the last time. Yeah. Fuck, I should have told you that. <laughs> well, whatever. It's stupid. Uh, well, I roll, I have a plus six. I rolled a seven, so we're at a 13, but I also rolled an eight on the D8. Wow. Damn. 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 God loves it. Damn, son. All right, well, you, you do it. You, you tie this, this fucker. Sick. We'll see what happens next week. <laughs> next week. <laughs> you've, tra you've trained us like goddamn dogs. <laughs> um, Rourke, what do you what do you got going on? Um. Okay. So the ogres, giants are ninety feet away. You said. Yes, ninety feet away. Okay. Oh, and they they re aim the cannon so that it's gonna fire at the ogres now that are hell giants. <laughs> I would like to cast Hypnotic Pattern, so I want to go out um, and just like stand towards them. I don't have to be any closer to them, because it's got 120 feet. Um, but I just want to stand looking out at them and play a sick guitar solo. Very heavy rock, metal, oh, yeah. 
and the you see the music come out and it's like it's like like lightning bolts and stars and like all that, that rock stuff and it just goes that's right the down idea i'm building a little it's settlement like right now yes, and I'm gonna yes. upgrade my guy. um wisdom save of 15 they have to make for one of them or yes one of them how close are they together oh wait it does say ah. you weave a twisting pattern of colors through the air inside a 30 foot cube within range Drift so i guess i could get each yeah if i can get both of them make them both do it you can get both of them praise be hell yeah this, yes this combat's easy we're so fucking good yes <laughs> just make your guys not see good um okay you have to do yeah wisdom saving throw of 15 hold on michael you're gonna fail it so i'm not i'm gonna get it these hill giant ogres are can't be wise well this is only gonna last like a minute but they won't move that's 10 rounds well i mean like once they take damage i guess they they st it stops working uh so that's a 10 minus one so that's a nine okay so some saving throw for the first one perfect and then that's a six minus one. Starman says, y'all just really cast the spells in front of everyone in the circus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did it. We did it as soon as we met them. And I didn't. I think we just yada yada. I don't think we even said anything. No. What are they going to do? If they say anything, we'll poke their eyes out. What if like, yeah, we're a magician. Duh, in the circus. We'll just gaslight them. We didn't want to tell you because magicians are just too cool. <laughs> How do you I believe that was David's idea of metal music. <laughs> <laughs> it was metal. the eclipse. Yeah. Uh, swamp gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aurora Borealis entirely in your kitchen. Yeah, like, uh, and I would say, like, oh, Celine threw uh, an ink well. Pot, yeah. Uh-huh. Ink pot. They're, they work at this circus. How smart can they be? A perfect sphere of ink that's constantly moving. Yeah, okay. It would work on you. Don't act like it wouldn't. It would work on me, yeah. <laughs> uh, so five is the other, the other roll. Oh. Perfect. Okay, so they are charmed. Um, they are com are currently incapacitated and have a speed of zero. Mm. But that will end once they take any uh, damage. Oh, this is cool. It's a glow stick. Oh, a glowing stick of incense. I was going to say, can I... Uh, Rourke breaks a glow stick and, like, starts mm. rave dancing. <laughs> That's fun. All right. Michael, you should be one of those DMs that's like, no. No, don't do that. You, it, the, the casting materials have to be what they are and you have to tell me where you got that lint and so forth and so on <laughs> that would be so fun to listen to it'd be so fun i mean sometimes it is right for certain people they would probably love it well if you found a fun way to be like i steal i pluck a chicken i don't know fuck the uh wyvern suddenly takes a crazy turn that just doesn't seem to make sense for physics uh -huh. and is now hurtling towards the hill giants Oh shit! I would have to release the rope, otherwise it's gonna keep going around. I just thought of that. That's good too. Yeah, I kind of assumed the grapple dart would get sucked out. It does. Like you see the the uh, arrow go poink, and um, you know after after it basically just changes its direction and then flies out, so no longer s stuck there. Sick. Let's have you roll an attack. Uh, ranged attack. Me? Yeah, you. To what end? I don't know. We're always fun. Uh, nine plus six is a fifteen. Is it? I still. It's not my turn yet, so I still don't get this d4, right? Yeah, you know. You do get the d4 because it's a different turn. Whoa. Ah, okay. Well, then another four. So nineteen. Nice. All right, so the the big dark mass goes hurtling towards one of the hill giants that's standing there, with its you know eyeballs um, sparkling, mm -hmm. and uh, and just it just blasts into it, and you hear a big boom um, as as they apparently smash into each other. Sick. And um, that's when you hear the cannon go kapow. <laughs> it says it. It says that word. Uh huh. <laughs> well, the, the flag that pops out says. It. <laughs> and uh, a small person goes whizzing by, <laughs> and, um, and you see a glint of maybe knives in their hands. Hell yeah. And uh, and you hear them go, I'm gonna fucking kill you. And uh, then they disappear into the darkness. <laughs> Y'all just sacrifice your people like that? That's awesome. <laughs> Chuck. Chuck, did I hear correctly that there was 
some little rat underneath a, a carriage thing cart yes yes there are there's the the lantern carriage is uh the lantern carriage has has been lit ablaze the oily rag and fireworks uh carriage yeah i'll rush over there see if i can do anything is this is somebody in there so, uh it's me big old chuck you see some little fingers trying to poke their way out of um, the door. It's it's being wedged closed right now because of the way that it fell. But with a strength check, you could probably uh, pry it open. For the Lord, let's go. Okay. You got that D8? Got that D8. I got that. <laughs> and I got that D4. <laughs> Might just roll a D12 because it's not mattering tonight. <laughs> uh, fuck me in the butt. Michael. That is a 14 with a D8, a D4, and a D20, and a plus three. That's that's enough to wrench this wooden door open. Um, it's not super strong. Um, so, yeah, you, you yank it open. Yeah. Um, maybe, you know, you let off a fart or something because it, it takes I'm so not going to fart near an open flame. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a dad with a huge ass. Look, it's not intentional. I feel like that's exactly something that he would do. Like you'd have him oh. pull your finger and then you fart at the at a campfire, sure. <laughs> but here, I'll put the whole damn line in danger. The whole fucking caravan's <laughs> gonna go up, Mike. Because if I farted, you know he'd be throwing up everywhere. <laughs> uh, but you're able to help the people out. Of uh... get out of there, you s- stupid. <laughs> also, watch out for the rocks. I don't know where you should go, but not here. Oh. But you should panic and run. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Push anyone you see out of your way. I'm kidding, but I don't know. These guys <laughs> have, like, the worst uh, survival instinct. Who am I talking to? There's no one here. And Chuck, you actually, because you came over and helped, you noticed there are actually two other goblins that are sneaking in from behind. Uh, the caravan and um, it looks like they're trying to do an ambush. I shout it. I shout it. Uh, they uh, they look shocked and surprised. Damn. Ah! Uh, Alright. All right. Uh, Chuck, do you do anything else? I assume that's my actions and so forth. Movement and uh, no. Okay. Celine. Uh, Celine enjoys the big shit so i think we're gonna have celine cast fireball into the darkness nice Ooh, i like that a lot uh ideally trying to hit not the remaining hill giant ogre but you know get the other hill giant the wyvern and the goblin ideally with a little bit of hashtag science so what's the um 20 feet radius is it 20 feet i feel like they, they, they're consistent right you could probably get them all yeah 40 feet from left to right uh sphere so yep they're probably close enough that you could get them all i want to avoid the other giant okay because he's incapacitated right smart so might as well be i assume that the other hill giant took some damage via wyvern. That's a safe assumption. So might as well blow its damn shit up. Uh, Michael, have all three of those jokers do a dexterity saving throw. They do not see it coming at all. and They don't. And I, don't I don't think a single one of them uh, broke double digits, so fair to say that they all failed. Damn. Yeah, that sucks for you, Michael. I'm not good at rolling. I'm sorry you have to deal with this. 86? Who has time for that? Do we have another video here? I know I can re-roll some, but sometimes it's just fun, don't you think? I get out my magic die. Okay, the fireball streaks over to the darkness. I bet it looks fucking crazy uh, in, inside of there. Alright. 10, 22, 31. 31 fire damage. Explode! Ow! I put a lamp up here. I'm not used to it. <laughs> um, for when I play Magic the Gathering online. <laughs> I bet it looks crazy. Just, co- like, maybe lights up the darkness, even though me- it mechanically doesn't, and then shoots out of it, because it's bigger than the uh, uh, range of the darkness. That's sick. Did you say 31 damage? I said 31. I'm 90% sure. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's, uh... 
uh, probably I think legally I have to say this before, uh, but we're gonna have Celine quicken. I think I say it after actually, because for her bonus action I'm gonna cast a second spell, and I'm gonna shoot a mind sliver at I imagine I can see like a foot of one of the hill giants or something like that mm -hmm. uh, at one of the hill giants, Michael. Uh, it's back to us. You need dice. Might as well get some push, actually. Uh, so can that little guy give a strength saving throw? That huge, huge man. Now this is good. Oh no. Fourteen. <laughs> uh, that fails. I love that it has no size requirement. So uh, this jabroni is pushed five feet back. And he stumbles and uh, he actually falls down and lands on his butt. Oh, that sucks for him. And then the person who was on his back you, you note that they seem to be wearing some sort of bird outfit. It, does, it looks pretty shoddily made. That's probably just being shot out the cannon and the fireball. I bet it's perfect before. They take their dagger and they run it across the uh, little giant's neck. <laughs> And clowns and acrobatists are um, tying the hands and legs of the remaining hill giant to in incapacitate it. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. Hey, maybe we could re-educate that one. Uh, <laughs> a new, new friend, right? Go away from a life of crime. That's what I say. And uh, as, the, as the dust settles, I think we can end our podcast. Forever? No. No. Uh, thank you so much, everyone on twitch.tv slash geekly inc for coming out and hanging out on tuesday every single tuesday we stream at 8 40 ish p.m est sometimes we start at 8 38 sometimes we start at 8 52 you never know you never know but luckily the community here is already chatting away with each other mm. in the twitch chat but besides that, if you just want to lurk, that's fine too. I love you. You can enter in to win some die hard dice. <laughs> you can try to win specifically our special Greetings Adventurers Dracona Arena dice comes in its own special dice tin with our logo on it. So you can show everyone at game night that you're the coolest motherfucker in the world. Uh, DieHardDice.com. Use the offer code DRAGONS with an exclamation mark. 15% off. I know I say it, but I want you to hear it again. That's special for us. Most people in the thing get 10. But we're special. Because you're special. 15% off. And a little kissy comes back to us. You need dice? Might as well get some that we love and help us out the back end uh congratulations to abridged chaos wow. you are the person that wins this week not the person who can't win this week. but next week congratulations but next week you can't win i don't think we ever had anyone win back to back i think we've had someone win within like six weeks of each other or something like that but hey what are you gonna do what are you gonna do you know did it what are you gonna do uh, yeah, I mean, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it if someone wins back-to-back. -back. We probably won't remember until Michael sends them the DM. Which is happening right now. Wow. Look at that speed. Look at that teamwork. Gosh. Gosh darn. Look at that wow. synergy. Group synergy. Well, thank you much. Thank you much so, everybody. Um, if you want to get in touch with us, we're on Twitter or X, whichever you prefer. No, 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 no. I'm a, I'm an X guy now. Fuck it. No, it's Twitter forever. <laughs> we're on there at Team D Podcast, also at Geekly Inc. Mm -hmm. um, you can find me oh, at Thrifty Nerd, and do check in because I will be back to doing those uh, pre-streams for my crafting stuff before. That's. Uh, Look at my Twitter, I'll say. And when we say look at our Twitter, we don't just mean follow us. That doesn't work anymore. You've got to go on that thing a lot. And you're still not going to see what we tweet. It sucks. Uh, whatever, what are you going to do? Fo uh, follow me on uh, Twitter 
at Tim Lanning. I have a link tree there that will link you to some of the very fine products I'm also on, like Tribulation Farce with my wife, uh, or Naruto Revuto. We're almost done with Naruto Shippuden. It's not very good right now, but that's okay. What are you going to do? Um, and that's like, that's the end of Naruto. Uh, coming up, I believe, this upcoming Friday for the Naruto people, uh, I guess when this episode 